everybody, Captain Jeff from The Real Guy Podcast. Welcome to this week's episode of The Tackle Bar. Today we're going to go over a few products that I've been using and think you guys might be interested in. The first thing I want to go over is if you're a real guy, there's probably a time when you're going to need a bubbler. Now these bubblers are great for live shrimp, pilchard, beach fishing, sand flea, a whole bunch of other stuff. This bubbler and this bubbler could not be more different. Though I bought them about the same time as ones are very high quality and one's kind of a throwaway. This is what most people use. And as you can see, it being about six months old, out in the salt, it's basically worthless, kind of cheap, and is rusted all the way through. This one is a rechargeable Ingle bubbler that has three different speeds. Now, Ingle sent me this bubbler knowing that I would use these. Most real guys that use bubblers need a good one. So they wanted me to do a review. Now they know I don't sponsor people. So they sent me this, I tried it out. It's been phenomenal. It's the Ingle Bubbler. It's got three different speeds. You can uh, recharge it as you need it. And if you're a real guy and you're looking for a real bubbler, this is it. Our second segment of the Tackle Bar, sponsored by the Real Guy Podcast, I wanted to go over one of the most frequently asked questions about lures that you can catch big tarpon with. Personally, I don't use a lot of lures, but some of my clients suggest them, so I went to the other guides and got their favorites. A giant black paddle tail is something you can use at night, okay? Just make sure that you have the right jig head for a giant tarpon if you're gonna use this stuff. Hoagie lures, the Z-Man, Dark, long, eel-looking lures often work at night for tarpon. Like I said, I don't personally use them, but the other guys swear by them. And lastly, is this Z-Man jerkbait type lure. And I actually have caught small tarpon on these, and actually a big one. Some guys swear by them. Anyway, you guys know that I'm more of a live bait guy, but if you're going to throw a tackle and gear at tarpon, you might as well get the stuff that the real guys are using. And lastly, the all-purpose, never-forgiving, ugly stick. One of the biggest challenges in the fishing industry is people think that their gear is going to make them a better fisherman than they, that <laughs> they think their gear is going to make them a better fisherman than they are. And nothing could be further from the truth. You can get a setup with a Daiwa and an ugly stick for less than two hundred dollars and smoke dudes that got custom setups that are over six hundred. Remember you heard it here. The tips from the Real Guy Podcast. If you're a fisherman and want to get the best content available, tune in to the Real Guy Podcast. You can get it on iTunes, Spotify, or simply Google Real Guy Podcast, and it'll pop up. Real episodes for real guys. Run that dog.